obviously know Bob Odenkirk from the likes of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul as the scummy little lawyer in there, but now he's Mr. Nobody in this movie, and he is like the likes of John Wick and Kevin McAllister put together. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. My name is Zach, and if you're a geek like me, I am the Wolf of Geek Street, and I would love to have you guys join me over here on a daily basis as I venture through and talk movies, TV, video games, and any sort of geeky thing that you could possibly imagine. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as comment down below. And let me know, what are your thoughts? How excited are you for this film? A buddy is about a bystander who intervenes to help a woman being harassed by a group of men, but now becomes the target of a vengeful drug lord and... This Mr. Nobody might have a dangerous past to himself. It stars the likes of Bob Odenkirk, Connie Nielsen, and of course, Christopher Lloyd. When this trailer came out, I was all in about it because I love good action films. I love Bob Odenkirk, and this is something that we haven't seen him do yet. He is an excellent actor when it comes to Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Like He is phenomenal in both of those, and everything else he ever pops up in, he's always really good. But this, again, I've never seen him personally in an action film like this. And again, the comparisons between John Wick are very much going to be out there because the action is heavily filmed like John Wick, but in its own different type of style and manner. The thing about this is I feel like John Wick, the action is very realistic to a point, but also in the way, how can we kill these people in very unique ways? And nobody takes that concept and says, hey, we're going to have these awesome action set pieces, somewhat realistic at times, but also absolutely like batshit crazy, like Home Alone rated R style. And we're going to go overboard on that because in a sense, this feels for me like a parody of John Wick, but not in a sense of making fun of it, but having fun with it. And I loved the concept of this and overall really liked this movie. I found nobody to be an entertaining blast of a time that put a gigantic smile on my face, put laughter throughout my whole entire body, but overall very much entertained me. Starting with my pros, Bob Odenkirk is phenomenal in the movie. He does a great job playing off this character in a very minute role. You know, there's not that much dramatic work here for that. This is only an hour and a half movie that really much flows and runs when it starts and really much never stops until the credits start to roll. And for me, this is what I really like is how Odenkirk is able to take this character who very much is this typical dad who maybe doesn't have anything beyond him in the past as it starts. But of course, as you've seen from the trailer, there's definitely more to him than meets the eye. And as that starts to all come about, you can somewhat believe it. And I loved how Odinger played that. Connie Nielsen's pretty solid in here as well, but Christopher Lloyd for me was a big surprise to even pop up in here. And you know, his role, I'm not gonna get much into, but it looks like he's having some of the most fun that he's had in a film in quite a while. And I just, I, I love Christopher Lloyd. It was great to see him back on the screen. Like I mentioned, the thing that really comes down to action films for me, especially in this, is how do you film the action? You know, I can forgive a surface level attempted story because honestly, nobody, Every single thing that goes above and beyond the story to the relationships, it's all very surface level. The story, there's not much to it, but just him having to go up against the Russians and very much take them all head on for certain reasons that you'll find out within the movie. There's some funny reasons that kind of build up to that domino effect of that happening, which I absolutely loved. And I was like, oh my God, is that seriously the reason this is going to happen? Okay, it really is. I'll take it. And that's where that parody element kind of adds in, you know, and John Wick, the big crux of him going after these people was because they killed his dog. Again, if someone killed my dog, I'd probably do the same damn thing. But the way in the whole crux and the domino effect of what sets nobody off in this whole direction is interesting and funny. But other than that, again, like I mentioned the story, the story is very, as you're scraping through, it doesn't feel very, it's very surface leveled. And that's fine because the action is really heavily entertaining. It's only an hour and a half. So I didn't expect like the deepest story or even the deepest relationship aspect when it comes to Odin Kirk and Nielsen because their problems are having the relationship. You've seen it all before. You've seen this story a hundred times before, but it's the tone and the vibe of what the direction and writer decided to really formulate and bring about in this movie. And that's why this movie works, which has me jumping back over to the action, which I mentioned at the top is excellent. It starts very realistic in the way that it's kind of going out, but then they start to have a lot more fun with it, which kind of changes up the tone and the vibe, but from the start, and especially when you start seeing what takes him on this path, 
that's kind of where I was like, all right, you know what? Like, this is more of just a sit back, relax, shove popcorn in your face and have a bunch of fun. It's not one that you can put a bunch of thought into or even think that it's pr pretty much realistic in some senses. But even then, the fight scenes are really hand to hand filmed brilliantly, not too many cuts, very much showing everything on the screen and feeling really realistic. And if you're squeamish, be ready because there actually are some things where I was like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting to have those moments when they were like, oh, 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 stop. And those are the fun elements that you have. If you watch this with friends or family, you're going to have such a fun time acting out and realistically going about in those manners. The friend I watched it with, we were both acting in that same light and laughing and smiling the entire way through. You know, I did mention that home alone aspect to this. Now, how does that pay off? There are elements in here of how he kills people that are really, honestly really entertaining but you know it's batshit crazy the way that he does it but i i absolutely loved it there's a couple in particular with a certain character with a sniper rifle that i i just sat there like this is everything i could want and more nobody is like kevin McAllister growing up and becoming john wick but then decides to be a family man there's so much more to this film that i feel like they could have dove a little bit deeper but for an hour and a half it doesn't overstay its welcome. It stays just enough to put a big smile on your face, make you laugh, and really much just go through the motions. There's amazing action set pieces in here that really, again, you might have seen some before, but in the way that they are able to pull off some of the kills in just such a unique manner, it just put a big smile on my face. I had so much fun with Nobody, and I think you guys are all going to be having the exact same fun. So look out for this film on March 26th. Do not miss it in theaters. I think a lot of you guys are going to be quite surprised with this one. So with all that said, I'm going to give nobody a B plus. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. You guys are seriously all the best. I hope you guys do enjoy the film. Make sure to head on over to Sam Trump Films on how to see films early. And of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters. Because without you, I won't be able to do this. So of course, until next time, stay classy.